I'm making a dill pickle salad and I've got my pasta boiled and it's cooling. And instead of dill pickles, I'm using sweet pickles. Shout out to Rhonda who makes those delicious homemade pickles. I've got my bacon done, sour cream, mayonnaise, ranch seasoning, three onion rub, and I've got my cheddar that I'm cutting up in cubes with the crinkle cutter. And then I'm gonna be serving it in our new two quart on the go serving bowl. Hey y'all, I'm making one of my favorite recipes, especially in the summertime today, uh, dill pickle salad. But I use sweet pickles instead of dill pickles and I'm making half of the recipe and I'm gonna put it in our new two quart on the go serving bowl. I don't think I've showed this at all, maybe not much if I have. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it later, but it's got a little vent hole there so you can let food, um, if it's hot, this keeps food hot or cold. It's got a double wall insulation. So think it. Think of this as your Yeti, your, your beverage holder, but your Yeti for your food that keeps food hot and cold. And one of my favorite features is this little hook right here. So when you're at a party or even at home, it holds the lid on the side. And another new feature is the lid has an insert that pops out and that's so you can sit it beside your bowl and it's a spoon rest. So a woman just had to invent this thing. I know she did because she thought of all the things that we need. Where am I gonna put my lid? Where am I gonna put my spoon? I don't wanna get this lady's table dirty. So this bowl covers it all and keeps food hot and cold. So the first thing I have done is went ahead and boiled my pasta and I used the micro cooker, of course, to do it in the microwave. And then I just put it in here to let it drain really, really good because I don't want wet pasta in um, my salad. So I love that if you have our stainless steel mesh colander, they come in a set of three and I love these. They're huge, y'all. <laughs> so, and I love that they fit down inside the micro cooker like that. So if we want something to drain right in there, we can. Like if you have chicken and you want to save that broth, this is the perfect way to do that. Okay, sorry, off the subject. All right, so I'm going to just kind of stir this pasta a little bit. And y'all, this is only half of the recipe. So the other thing that it calls for is our dill pickles, AKA sweet pickles in my case. So I'm putting those in. Uh, a lady that lives close to my sister makes these homemade pickles. Her name is Rhonda and they are delicious. So I love sweet pickles. I'm not a big fan of dill pickles. All right, the next thing that goes in our pasta is bacon. So I've already got that bacon cooked and diced up in nice sized pieces. So I could just, I could probably eat the whole thing myself, but I'm not going to. <laughs> and then the last thing before we make our dressing for this is cheese. So I wanna show you how I do my cheese. When I'm doing fruit trays or for the grandkids, you know, you can buy those cheese sticks. And I've done videos before making my own cheese sticks. They get expensive. If you want to buy them at the grocery store, you know that they get expensive. But I like buying the cheese in the block. And I've already used half of this block, but I'll show you. You just take the crinkle cutter and I'll go down. And now I have my own little cheese sticks. So you can buy whatever you want and you can make them whatever size. Those cheese sticks are big and fat and I hate for my grandchildren to eat so much of those. So I have already sliced them up. And again, this is about the size I like to do the cheese sticks for my grandchildren. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and cut this one in half. I just left a few so I could show you. I love the crinkle cutter. When I make fruit trays, for parties, they always say, where did you get that cute shaped fruit? <laughs> because it leaves the prettiest little shapes on it. So it just rocks back and forth and you can cut so many things with it. So I'm gonna move that cheese out of the way and dump this in. Again, that's why I like these flexible cutting mats too, y'all. I know I talk about them all the time, but you can see how useful they are in things like this. Doesn't that look delicious already? All right, so the last thing we've got to do is our dressing. And I tried, I tried to remember where I got this recipe from. I've made it for years and years, and I think it was in one of my old church cook 
cookbooks. So I've got just some Duke's mayonnaise and I squirted it in the measure all cup. So I knew I would have the right measurements and I'm just gonna pop that in and scrape it off. And that's the beauty of these. You do not waste any bit of that mayonnaise, y'all. This ends for our solid and dry and this is for our liquid. So I also need some sour cream. So I've got mayonnaise and now I'll do my sour cream and pop that in. It's, these are perfect for yogurt, sour cream, mayonnaise, um, honey, things that are sticky and hard to get out of a measuring cup. All right, I need a little bit of pickle juice and I emptied my last jar. There we go. <laughs> so I emptied my last jar of these. I'm gonna put just a little, about a teaspoon and a half, because I am doing this recipe from memory, which could be dangerous, and I'm also trying to half the recipe. So I'm using our ranch seasoning. Pampered Chef's ranch seasoning is amazing on just about anything, and they actually call it a popcorn seasoning, but I use it in all of my dishes that calls for those ranch seasonings or ranch packs. Then, three onion seasoning. Um, this was onion salt in that old recipe that I had in, I think, from the church cookbook. But I used the three onion, about a half a teaspoon. So I'm just going to kind of guess at that. All right, so now I'm going to stir this sauce together. And since I'm making half and guessing on this, I may have to make more dressing. But I don't want to overdo the dressing. Y'all, it's going to be good, good, good. I can smell that ranch. Doesn't it look good? All right, so now I'm gonna take my dressing and just pour it right in here. So it's really easy to make and the more it's chilled in the refrigerator, the better it is. So if you've got a picnic to go to this summer or a work function that you want to take something to, make this the night before and just pop it in the refrigerator. And then you'll know in this serving bowl that you don't have to worry about it because it's gonna stay cold for a long time in this bowl. Okay. And then, here we go. So now I'll just stir this around. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be just enough dressing. Again, I don't want to overpower the cheese and the pickles and the Bacon. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be good. I love a pasta salad. Who else likes pasta salad? I lost a pickle and a piece of bacon here, y'all. You see all that? I try to hold it up so you can see. Let me get my ring. I always end up getting some on me. Now look at that. Doesn't it look just delicious? I want them to get some bacon and cheese and pickles and pasta and sauce in every bite. And I just about think I'm gonna have that accomplished. <laughs> okay, so again, I'll show you the bowl lid. It has this vent cup. I'm gonna show you one more tip. So if you have one, this is a leak resistant lid. Once you close that seal, it becomes leak resistant. You see that? Nothing's coming out. Nothing else is also coming open. You probably could force it open with that seal closed, but once you open it, it looses that vacuum seal that it has on that bowl, and then you open that lid just perfectly. So if you've got one and you close your seal and you couldn't get your lid off, that's the trick. Open that little vent, and your lid will pop right off, and then you can hang it right on the side. So how about that? I'm telling you, don't you agree that a lady just invented this dish? <laughs> All right, let me show you the other one, and then I'll leave you alone. This is the two quart. Y'all know I'm a visual person, so I like to show you everything. Um, and some of you, I think, like that. Um, I can't tell how things in the catalog look. They look huge and then you order it and it comes in and it's this little little tiny thing. 
But these are not, these are big. This is the two quart and this is the five quart. This is a big baby. And I'm doing um, a test on the five quart today with some ice. I've done it before. I've got a, I'll put pictures after I get through with my process that takes late into the night that I started this morning and every hour I take pictures. So I'm going to open the vent hole so I can look. And I have ice in here. And I started this morning and it's still just big ice, just like it was when I put it in. And it's been probably about four hours already. So I'm excited. I'm going to keep going until I see it melting. And uh, last time I did it, it didn't never melt. So I dumped it before I went to bed, but I'm like, I started earlier this morning. So I'm not going to give up. I'm hoping to see this thing through. And then I'll post pictures of all the time frames and let you guys know. All right, so thank you for watching. I am ready to uh, get into some of this delicious pasta salad. And I will share the recipe in the comments. And my website is always above my video in the description. So if you want to check out these on-the-go serving bowls, you can find them on my website. And the crinkle cutter, y'all. That is a fun little tool to use. I do hot dogs. I do everything with it because the grandkids like that shape. When I make french fries, I cut them like that. They just love the shape of it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.